Hey everybody, welcome back to Movies with Mia. If you're new to the channel, hi! I'm Mia Tiffany, and here we are watching the greatest classic films throughout history. Today we are continuing our series of the most epic film scores in cinema with the film Seven Samurai. Before we get into the video, I would like to shout out my Golden Oscar patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your continuous support of the channel. And if you're interested in becoming an exclusive VIP Tiffany Club member, then I highly encourage you to check out that Patreon link, which is in the description box below. Finally, full disclaimer, I am not a native speaker of the Japanese language, so I apologize in advance for the names and words that I am about to attempt in Japanese. Okay, let's get on to it. Seven Samurai was released in 1954, directed by Akira Kurosawa, with music by Fumio Hayasaka, featuring... Toshiro Mifune, Takashi Shimura, Kiko Tsushima, Daisuke Kato, Yoshio Inaba, Isao Kimura, Minoru Chiaki, Seichi Miyaguchi, and Kamatari Fujiwara. At this point, we are going to get into some historical background. For those of you who want to jump right onto the film reaction, go for it. But for those of you who want to stay, we're going to get right into it. Akira Kurosawa was intrigued by the history of the legendary warriors, the samurai. Now, the interesting thing here is, though, that he didn't really want to play with the more stronger aspects of the samurai. He actually wanted to focus in on the weaker points of them, which I thought was really fascinating. So he decided to set his story in a sort of lawless, chaotic atmosphere where the daimyo, or the feudal lords who had power and authority over the samurai, had actually perished, leaving the samurai scouring for lands looking for livelihood. Kurosawa Sawa felt that this setting would actually help him to explore more with different character types and historical relevance. He originally wanted to focus in on the character of a single samurai. He later expanded his story to fit a real life story about a village who hired a group of samurai for protection. Once his plan was in motion, Kurosawa called upon Shinobu Hashimoto and Hideo Uguni, whom he had collaborated on in his previous films, Rashomon, which was in 1950, and Ikiru which was in 1952. Kurosawa, much like John Ford, had a company of actors who he liked to work with, including Toshiro Mufune, Takashi Shimura, and others to work on this film with him. Seven Samurai would go on to be voted the third best film released in 1954, and the best Japanese film of all time in 1979. All right, on to some interesting facts. So Kurosawa was known for creating set pieces in excess to really preserve the authenticity of certain scenes. For example, if there was a scene that was set in a room, Kurosawa would call upon his art design team to construct an entire house in detail around the room. Now, this did cause a lot of budgetary problems, obviously, but he actually explains why he does it in his autobiography. He says, quote, if I had to tell an actor, don't think about where the room is in relation to the rest of the house, that natural ease cannot be achieved. For this reason, I have the sets made exactly like the real thing. It restricts shooting, but encourages that feeling of authenticity. So he really wanted to preserve the quality of his actors' performances and really to help with like the pacing and movement of a scene, which I thought was actually brilliant. So up to that point, Seven Samurai had actually been the most expensive film made in Japan at the time at almost half a million dollars. The press vilified Kurosawa, calling him something like an emperor because of his strict demands on set. Kurosawa, however, was cool as a cucumber, especially when production would be shut down due to budgetary shortages. He would simply go fishing and wait for the studio to open the production back up because he knew that he had a lot of street cred in the Japanese filmmaking industry because he was so popular and so successful. He also knew that the studio had invested so much financially in his project that they had no choice but to open production back up. So I kind of thought he was like sort of a badass just because like that thought process, like you know that you're like top notch when you don't have to worry about whether or not the studio is going to put your production back on or not. So I thought that was kind of cool that he kind of had that mentality. And of course, Kurosawa was right. The studio would end up opening his production again, and they would do this sort of back and forth play until the production was finished. And I actually read, after I wrote my script, I read that Seven Samurai was originally supposed to be like maybe 
the average you know production time like three to six months of of filming however it was actually dragged out well into a year just because of all of the you know the shutdowns and the budgetary shortages um, but somehow they got the film created so it's really cool that we get to watch it now and with that being said I am so excited to watch Seven Samurai but before we do y'all know the deal if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to stay in the loop all right, everyone, it is time to grab your snacks, grab your drinks, get cozy, and let's get in to Seven Samurai. This is really exciting. It must be so scary, like having to defend your village from, you know, these bandits. It's terrifying. <laughs> So they're not only plagued with bandits, they're also plagued with like the law and taxes and man, that is so rough. It's crazy, to know. It's crazy. What are you talking about? There's always that one guy that's like, let's just fight. Let's fight through him. <laughs> I respect, I respect his, his determination. I wasn't expecting for Magnificent Seven to be so similar to Seven Samurai. I am seeing a lot, even down to like characters. Yes. Yes, we fight. Ooh, we'll hire samurai. <laughs> I love, I love Kurosawa's use of close-ups here. Like I see that very much just in the beginning here. <laughs> That was just one of of many, okay? We there's still other samurai we could ask. Uh, what? <laughs> you were asking me to buy your merch and now you're <laughs> what? <laughs> I just hear playing their game and insulting the other men around them. That's so jacked up. Oh, are we fighting? Mm. He's like, what did you say about my daughter? Isn't this the guy who wanted to like go out and fight in the first place? And now he's like, let's just go home. <laughs> okay. What is he doing? Doesn't that mean that means something when when he when you cut your ponytail? Oh, I love the utilization of the non-dialogue here. It's just that sound of rushing water. Oh my gosh! Oh man, so we're really on borrowed time here. Oh. Oh, so they don't even know it's gone. Okay. Because cutting your ponytail means something like out of shame. That's what I thought. I feel like he was so before his time. It's just so beautiful so far. Oh boy. He looks mean. <laughs> he looks like he could take someone out with his bare hands. <gasps> Why is he screaming like that? Oh my god, it's like unnerving. <gasps> he just charged in there! <gasps> he struck him and down. I kind of liked that slow motion movement there. That was really cool. <laughs> He's like, that's the, they're like, that's the one that we need. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like there is a lot of respect for the samurai, at least from what I'm seeing from here. Oh, 
Oh, this score kind of sounds a little western-y, like a western score. He's like, teach me. <laughs> I am absolutely getting, like, Yul Brynner's ca um, character from Mag 7 vibes. Just the, the way he carries himself and the confidence. I'm definitely feeling that. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> this score is very fitting for the nature of this film thus far. Yep. Seven. Seven Samurai. Title drop. I'm gonna have to start recruiting. Oh, he's like, I haven't even accepted. I'm just, I'm thinking about it. That is pretty risky. They don't have anything to offer the samurai except for a, a thrill of the fight. He's like, what are we going to go back to? <laughs> Oh. That's rude. These guys suck. <laughs> They're just like, what are you guys even doing there? Oh, it's like steaming too. Oh my goodness. I really feel like there is a lot to look because you have like subjects moving in and out of the camera really fast. So it keeps you engaged. <laughs> <laughs> He's care he cares about his daughter. He doesn't want his daughter to get hurt. I get that. There's like children in this village too. Oh my goodness. He's like for f fighting for farmers. What? What is this? <laughs> yeah, he really does give his audience a lot to see. I think that really helps the pacing of of the uh, the scenes. Oh, he knows. He's gonna do it. Oh, that's so cool. That's how you know you got a good one. It's his character that's the most intriguing. That's so cool. <laughs> no questions asked. In Japan, they're very much more collectivistic, and we in America are much more individualistic. It's just, it's interesting to see those differences within the two different cultures and, and how the cultural aspects of the actual culture influence the movies and the cinema. He has such a nice smile. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they find okay, I feel like I'm gonna be talking about Mag Seven a lot. Didn't they find one of the like one of the seven? He, he was literally chopping wood. He said, Can I help you? <laughs> that takes so much upper body strength to be able to cut through that thick piece of wood. Oh, oh my gosh. He's like, absolutely, I do. <laughs> Some of the toughest. Ooh. Do you hear that? Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even yell. This is the knife wielding scene. This is the knife wielding scene. Oh, we're back, seven. He's like, we're going to do it for real this time. You're going to die, bro. You're going to freaking die. <laughs> Don't do it. Mm -mm. Your pride's going to get the best of you, brother. He's like packing up. Everyone's just watching. Oh my God. He's like swift. Ah! Woo! <laughs> this is your fault. You asked for this. You wanted this. Oh, 
考えているうちにいつの間にか掘れこのように髪が白くなるその時はもう親もなければ身内もない That's one common, common theme between the two movies That loneliness あの方もぜひお願いしますかそのまま大人より働くぞ、うん、では勝四郎を大人扱いすることにしてではあと二人おおお主おいで願えるのか Oh, they got the guy. <laughs> I would really love to watch. Oh, oh now, okay. He's like, alright, l l I'll go see what you're talking about. I was gonna say, I'd really love to watch more of Kurosawa's work. He s just has such a beautiful way of telling his stories. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you. He's like, whoa, bro, just chill. Just chill. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. It was a test. It wasn't real. You just failed it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he just needs to sit down, give him some water, some hot tea, and just let him chill out. <laughs> <laughs> you hardly look 13 years old to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, definitely not 13. <laughs> hey, hey, chill, chill. <laughs> I gotta admit, he has like, he has fire in him. You know, for an absurdly drunk person, he, I feel like he's, he's pretty good at like balancing himself. <laughs> Just sleep it off, babe. Sleep it off. It's not even his. Oh, he just wants to go. I'm getting the sense that he's the Chico character. More running water. Uh, he's so afraid that they're gonna take his daughter. Quick paced. Oh my god, no, I don't want to cut my hair, dad. Jeez. Poor baby, she just cleaned her hair and it's all getting dirty. Oh, oh my god, is he actually gonna do it? He was like really slow about it and he just like takes out a shear. She's like, what are you doing? It was kind of funny, but it's a sad situation. You know I'd be out there too, being all nosy, like, what are they talking about? What is he doing? Oh my god, he's gonna like fish with his bare hands. Woo! <laughs> I very much appreciate his muscular physique. I would like to point that out. <laughs> They're like, let the boy join us. There he is. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> We might as well just let him join. <laughs> They're scared. Oh, like y'all knew they were coming. Why are you acting all like brand new? Are those the bandits? Oh, oh no, it's not. I know what this is. Chill. <laughs> I love the way he's acting through this. There's a comedic aspect to his character, but there's also a very grounded aspect to his character. Exactly, like you didn't want to welcome us, but now you're calling for us when you think you need help. <laughs> I don't know why I love him, but I do. Like, he knows what he's doing, but he's also being very, like, I don't know, there's like a comedic aspect to him. Are you good? <laughs> I think I will have to say thus far that I feel like this film is. It's better. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how better to say that. It, it's just. Laid out better than Mag 7. 
さてその暇があるかな、うん、like teaching him to fight yes teaching him how to defend themselves この橋を落とせばまず東から来る敵は防げるしかしこの橋向こうのうちはどうする離れは引き払うかないなあの水車小屋もかしかし必ず老人なかなか言ってるんだぜ It's always the men who, who has the most experience especially in battle who will also seem the most calm and tranquil I don't know it's so strange どいつもこいつもかかしには持ってこいだ相手はスズメはカラスじゃねえんだおいどのやつ一本前だろおめえだよ I'm talking to you buddy <laughs> I'm looking at you, pal. <laughs> I love this stream that just like flows through this village. I feel like it really keeps you in the environment. That's beautiful. Wow. All the flowers. <laughs> that is beautiful, wow. And the stream is still present. Gosh, the use of all of this nature, like in the lighting and the, the scoring, the sounds, it's just so beautiful. It keeps you so in tune with like the environment around. Oh? Is it the daughter? He's like, you. You. You are a girl! <laughs> That little scene where the dad was trying to cut her hair gives so much context as to why the women had to hide. You got some armor for you, I see you. <laughs> They're really good at scramming. They killed samurai? Oh, I do remember them saying that in the beginning, though. That's coming from the quiet one. I love how he's looking at the camera. He's like looking in the direction of the camera and then like moving towards the people behind it, which are supposed to be like the other samurai. You were born a farmer? <laughs> You're a farmer. That's how you know. His movements are so swift. Oh, that's sweet. Is she the only, like, young woman in the village? There's no other ones? Oh my god, poor thing, wow. How could you not, like, shed a tear for this poor woman? Hey, chill, bro. I know, I'm like, why are you screaming? Uh. <laughs> Man, he has a lot of angst that he just needs to work through. <laughs> He's just playing with the baby, oh my god. I love that he's doing this scene with the child in his hands. That was just, that was so sweet. Yep, you gotta go right into the center. That baby is so cute. Oh my goodness. My heart is melting. Oh, I love that camera movement. A nice long shot. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Protect your homes by yourselves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they, they ran around him. The difference there between the individualistic and collectivistic cultures. You gotta think of the community as a whole. Here we go, part two. Let's do this. The harvest. Or the women, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's so excited. <laughs> yep, that's what I figured. He's all excited. We'll get nice and friendly. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. 
This is so funny because this film is, you know, obviously 1954, but it does not feel like a classic film at all. <laughs> he brings so much laughter to this film. Wow, he's really riding that freaking horse, bro. Oh, oh yeah, that <laughs> he hurt himself. I love all of his angst. It's so great. <laughs> Don't lower your guard now. This is when they come and they strike like a freaking cobra. Oh, he's falling in love with her. Love the extreme close up there. Well, we're even closer. We're all the way up there. Wow. Is he okay? It's okay, it's okay, you don't have to freak out, it's alright. You okay? Don't tell me it's the freaking bandits. And they're out there just frolicking in the freaking flowers, not knowing that they're about to be freaking taken by the vipers. Oh! The bandits, they've been spotted. Oh my god, they know! I love how they say yes. Hi. It just feels so much more like affirming. Like, yeah, I gotcha. Hi. I would like to say, as I've been talking about it mostly throughout this video, is just again the movements. It's like all or like almost like it was choreographed. <laughs> Pulls him in, like, shut up! Get in here! <laughs> God, I'm scared. Be careful, be careful. Oh my gosh, I hope that they don't pull a freaking Troy where like the cousin gets slaughtered in the freaking fight. I just, I don't want him to, I don't want him to get hurt. Katsushiro, please, just stay there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're asking for help. After you've just been stealing all their freaking livelihood, now you're asking for help. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Everyone chill. Everyone chill. You gotta talk to this guy. Oh no, Grandmama has a... She's like, I'm out for blood too. Oh man, they're not gonna get anything. There's too much bad blood between the bandits and the villagers. They're gonna try and attack, ambush. They're all sleeping. Perfect time to attack. Oh, there's women there. Oh, I see that. She looks so sad. This music in the back is very, like, ominous. Very making my nerves bad, but in, in all the best ways. <gasps> There they go. Away, away, away. Get them! They're all running. Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Always has a way of making it fun. There's that woman. Oh, is that his wife? Oh my god, she ran back into the flames! What is going on? What just happened? Oh, there's no way you're getting back in there, buddy. She's a goner. Wait, 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 wait. Did somebody just get shot? There was so much going on there. I didn't know what happened. She's my wife. Is he, is he dead? Did he fall? I didn't see what happened because there was just so much going on. It, it sounded like a gunshot, but it, or like, yeah, like, I don't know. I didn't see it. Yep, getting riled up. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. <laughs> oh my god, he has so much guts. <gasps> oh. He's just so risky. He takes way too many risks. Maybe he's trying to lure them there. Oh, he set fire to the barn. Mm -mm. Let this, if anything, be fuel to bring down the bandits. Ay, 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 they're still there? Oh my god. Oh, wow. They speared her. Oh my god. At least the baby's alive. Lost his whole family. So this is me. 
That's what happened to me. Yeah. <gasps> Oh my god, that would have been such a hard moment to to experience like that. This is me. This is what happened to me oh, there's the bandits. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, he speared someone. This is war It's like this is how this is war you have to you just got to get through it. Wow, that is rough Just spearing him get him get him get him Oh, I love the quick movement of the camera in this scene. Oh, oh, not not real. Okay, I was like, what are they doing? It's a scarecrow. Be careful, Katsushiro. Katsushiro! Oh, I thought she was gonna freaking fall. I was like, what? You shouldn't be here. It's like synchronized movement. <laughs> Oh, other countries are not bound to the Hayes Code. So it's really cool to kind of see a film in the 50s depicting some of the things that you would see in a film from the 60s in America. Yeah, they worry me too, bro. You sure? I oh, know, I'm like, that's a death sentence right there, brother. Oh. Hell yeah! That was the coolest, suavest. <laughs> wow. Massive respect right now. You are a magnificent <laughs> I feel like you are amazing. That was like the coolest, the swaggiest scene of this entire film. <laughs> Oh my god, they're coming with a freaking vengeance! Oh my god, they're going so fast! Get him. Push him back. Push him back. Push him back. Hey, No, baby. No, baby. You can't escape, baby. Huh? Careful. Be on your guard. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, they're... The fact that they're able to hold off all of these men on horses is amazing. Get him! Ooh! <laughs> Close it up! Close it up! Push him back! Be careful, be careful, be careful! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Ah! Yes! I grab those horses while I'm at it! I like how they're like, kind of like, it's almost like a tide. Like, the bad guys go in and out. In and out. That's really cool. Try again, try again, try again. Push him back. Ooh! Pony knows some, some tricks! <laughs> wow, he's like, riding the horse backwards to try and kick people. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, down he goes. <laughs> Kurosawa is really filling the time. There's no point in this movie that I felt like the weight of the three and a half hours. I know, he's such a chill dude, bro. <laughs> I really feel like I'm watching a film from, you know, the time period of 1570s in Japan. For the most part, it's like you're really in the environment. That is amazing. I love his outfit. Look at him. Oh my gosh, all this fast movement in the camera! I didn't know you could get this in 1954! <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> Oh, he dress. Oh, he dresses up. I forgot that. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Get him! I didn't realize it right away. Woo! Oh, poor babies. Ooh. Ooh. oh my gosh! Everything is happening so quickly. I'm trying to figure out like where to look at. <laughs> no mercy at all. We're like, we're just gonna stick all these guys as much as we can with our freaking spears. <gasps> no, 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 no. <gasps> no! <laughs> Somebody get that freaking guy on the sword with the freaking arrow, please! I love how he's <laughs> butt out, ready to go. <laughs> yes, get him off of his freaking horse! Oh no, what happened? Oh no! <laughs> he had the nice smile! No, please! 
That's a tough loss, guys. They're gonna blame him because he he left his post. I would re I would feel very guilty. Cause this, I mean, he, it's not like he could have stopped it, right? But still. Yep, tomorrow's a showdown, baby. It's the big fight, and we are going to win it, okay? My head is in the game. <gasps> oh, I like this music. That flute, it's actually quite romantic. She's like, I've come to say goodbye. <laughs> I don't know. No. Oh, poor thing. And down they go. <laughs> oh God, and Munzo's gonna walk in. It's like, well, we're gonna die tomorrow. We might as well, right? <laughs> oh, Shino is um saying goodbye in her own way. <laughs> Oh, she don't. Oh, no, don't go into that barn. Don't do it. He gonna find her doing some, some shady things. <laughs> I pray to God that he does not find her because I do not want him to do anything to Katsushiro. <laughs> don't come out to- Ah, uh, she came out. <laughs> oh, no. What have you guys been doing in the shed? Oh. Uh. Chill, chill. What is with it? Yeah, you need to chill out, Monzo. Oh, jeez. Bro, you cut her hair off. You're whipping her. Come on, let her live a little, man. Jeez. Katsushiro! I mean, it was all consensual. It wasn't like he hurt her. Oh, The shame that is worn on his face! They know it was Katsushiro. You were young once? Come on. That is so annoying. Yeah! Exactly! Speak some sense into him! They're in love! Gotta let go of your old ways, pal. Look towards the future. Damage goods. Please. This is the last battle. Here they all come. That certainly doesn't look like 13 men. That looks like 20 men. But we'll pretend. We'll pretend it's 13. It's so quick. It's like a time. There's nowhere to go, baby. Why do you keep running back and forth? You're stuck. He just got off. He's like, I'm done. I'm just leaving. <laughs> Just running. I'm done. Cloaked in the shadow of rain and mud everywhere. What a what a perfect ending battle. Really showing you the the grittiness of war. Ooh, pu ooh, pushed it right into his his booty cheeks. <laughs> ooh, no. Oh no. 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 Don't take him. This is the like the the leader. I feel bad for the horses. Like the horses didn't do anything. Just just knife the man on the horse. Don't knife the horse. <gasps> Who shot? Who shot? Who was that? Oh my god! Oh my god, get him. <gasps> nuh uh. Nuh uh. He didn't die. Nuh uh. Not Kikuchiro. No. No, please. Freaking knife the sh knife him. Knife him in the face. Right in the face. He's exposed in the face. Get the musket away from him. Oh, yes. The victory. <sighs> oh my god. Kikuchio died. At least let our Katsushiro live, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chill, 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 chill. Relax. Oh my god, that's so painful. How many of them were lost? Four, I think. Including Kikuchio? <sighs> There's only three of the, of the original seven. They rejoice and praise, but there's a lot of loss that's happened. Four. I think that by far was the grittiest battle. Oh, she put her head down and she kept walking like, uh-uh. Why don't you just marry her? What, what's what's the harm in that? How is that ruined? You guys were with each other even before you were married. You know, it's logic, logic. You still felt the loss of these of these great men. It's just it's rough. Oh man. 
What a freaking movie, guys. <sighs> We really just need to sit here and unpack what we just watched. Wow, that was such a good movie for so many different reasons. Like, honestly, I don't even know if we should have put it in an epic scores <laughs> in the epic scores month while the score was um, very beautiful in its simplicity. I feel like there were so many other things in this film that were so much more present. And we're gonna talk about those for a second. So it was a good score, but we're laying that aside. What I loved most about this film is the fact that if I were going to the movie theater to watch this movie and I paid a sum of money, I just got my freaking money's worth because Wow, there was just so much in this film to stimulate the audience, to keep them engaged. The utilization of the faster paced shots, the movement in this film, and how he used both the camera shots, the, the quick pace of the camera, and the movements in this film to really string the audience along. It's almost, I wonder if he choreographed like the movement, because it just feels like an ebb and flow throughout the film. Like, even when um, the men were running, they all ran in sync or they looked up and sync. There was like slow mov movements. There were fast movements and they all worked together to just keep the audience in this water that was the film. It was so well orchestrated. Um, then the use of the environment in nature, how we were literally immersed in this village in Japan. You were not in studio, and if there, if it was in studio, it was minimal work. For the most part, we were thrown into these beautiful landscapes from that beautiful wood area with the flowers to the gorgeous sunlight settings. I mean, you were just engrossed in the environment. It was everywhere. Wow, that was so good. And then in terms of character analysis, I think we really got a chance to see more into these characters. These samurai weren't just you know, these victorious warriors who were just ready for war. They were human beings who had to deal with loss and pain, death, so many things um, in their lives. And we really got a chance to see that, you know, even the friendships between some of the other men and just how they had this overall sense of family and how the loss felt so great at the end when we lost four of the seven samurai. You felt it, you know, it was like, man... You didn't want them to die. And yet, you know, that's the way that the, that's the life of a samurai. You experience all that death and loss. We really got that. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was how this movie influences Mag 7 and the differences. If I'm being honest, this film was way better than The Magnificent Seven for a few reasons. The Magnificent Seven was a great film, but with Seven Samurai, you really got a chance to sit with the story and, and, and really get the context that you were kind of missing in, in The Magnificent Seven because, again, Mag Seven was Americanized. It was fit for a, a certain audience who wasn't really ready to see more of the storytelling yet. So it was packaged in an, in an American way, and it felt like that. There's things in Seven Samurai that gave so much more context to the story. It was just made for a, an audience that wasn't bound by a certain set of rules that, you know, you couldn't show this in a movie, you can't show that in a movie. It was like, I feel like Kurosawa really had more creative freedom. It, it's such a timeless film. Like, I forgot for a second, like, this is 1954. This is still technically the classic period of cinema, yet we're getting all of these elements that feel so modern and feel so timeless. Such a fantastic film. Definitely want to check out more of Akira Kurosawa's work. That was like a 15 out of 10 for me. So well done. Thank you guys so much for watching it with me. All right, everyone, that does it for this video. As always, if you liked it as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up and feed the feed algorithm. The algorithm. <laughs> if you want to be an official Tiffany Club member, then I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to stay in the loop. If you would like to see this film's full reaction, you will find it on my Patreon, along with our flick pick polls, which allow you to vote for future videos, and our MWM live streams, where we come together every other week as the Tiffany Clubbers that we are, and we watch a classic film live via Zoom. If that sounds like something that interests you, then I highly encourage you to check out that Patreon link, which is in the description box below. In the next video, we are going to be continuing our exploration of the most epic film scores in history, 
with Paul Newman and Robert Redford in The Sting. I am so excited to watch this film. I've heard so many good things about it. If you haven't seen The Sting, then I highly encourage you to check it out either in its entirety or just watch a quick synopsis of it online. And I have provided links of where I got my physical copy and where you can stream it online. If you have a recommendation for any classic Hollywood films, head on over to my website, www.miatiffany.com. Scroll all the way down and you will find our recommendation form. While you're there, I recently dropped merch. So if you're interested, check that out as well. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Mama Mia Tiffany. Once again, I am Mia Tiffany. This has been a pleasure and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye everyone. Bro, there are literally pigeons outside of my window and they're like talking to each other. <laughs> and if you're interested in becoming a... Let me try that again. I'm really, really on borrowed time here because I'm my freaking camera's dying. How? I said Hashimoto. <laughs> I don't know why I said it so extra. Hashimoto. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I said I'm all right. One more time so I can get it nice and... Damn pigeons. And he called upon many of them, including Toshiro Mufune. I... I messed up. I'm running out of freaking juice. Where we all come together. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, why is my head trying to go faster than what I can say? It's annoying. Oh no, it's dying. Ah!